We are in difficult times. The last time that we experienced something this drastic was in 1918, meaning that there are no memories of it. Only recorded history can tell that tale. The only two references that we have for a situation like this are historians and infectious disease experts. With the onslaught of social media keyboard warriors, search engines that are designed to be echo chambers for what we want to hear, and clickbait type media, it's tough to filter out the noise. It's tough to know what to think or how to feel. Lives are being turned upside down. We are relegated to our homes away from the social lives that we normally lead. Non-essential businesses are closed, leaving their employees to wonder what's next. What we do know is that there is a killer among us, one that can't be seen, one that has you knowing that it may take you or may spare you, but it gives you all the time in the world to think about it. There is one defense for this, distance. Please, stay home. You never know whose life you may save. My parents thank you. Your neighbors thank you. The entire community thanks you. You make a difference. On the flip side of staying home, we have those that have been thrown into this head first. Doctors and nurses are asked to act as soldiers, putting themselves directly into the line of fire to help others. Truck drivers are putting in even more time on the road to deliver the goods to local stores that we need in order to survive. Police and fire crews now have another danger to worry about in doing their daily jobs. Each and every one of these groups has done so with a type of heroism that you would only normally see in the movies. To each and every one of you, You've been noticed, and we thank you. This is changing our world forever. We are finding new ways to do things. As humans, we've always learned to adapt. It's part of why we have survived for so long. I'm encouraged when I look around to see people connecting in new ways, emotionally, mentally, all while keeping the necessary physical distance. We have people stepping up and even creating things in their homes to help those on the front lines of this battle. We are bringing in a new era, a new time, and even some new normals. We are finding better ways to do things, but most of all, we are learning how to face adversity. Be patient, be kind, stay home, and thank those that can't.